I'm driving the all-new Acura MDX Type S, and I can tell you, it's not just a sporty trim package. The usual metric of measuring success is a happy family, a fulfilling career, and enough money to own a house and car. For driving enthusiasts, it gets a little more complicated since hauling the brood around usually means a ponderous family truckster. Acura to the rescue. The three-row MDX has always been competent in the corners. The new Type S ups the fun. It's the first Acura SUV to wear this badge. MDX A-Spec is largely a sporty cosmetic package. The S-Type actually adds performance. There's more horsepower. The suspension is more sophisticated. If you're a driver and you're looking to make as many people car sick as quickly as possible, this might be for you. When this fourth generation MDX was being developed, engineers had a high performance version in mind. John Ikeda understands this kind of validation is important. We're so proud to be able to finally do a Type S for an MDX uh, because we are a performance brand. You know, we, we stamp ourselves as a performance premium performance brand at Acura with precision crafted performance. That's why we'll do it. Not only that, you know, we'll do things like SHAWD, uh, turbo V6, double wishbone suspension on a three-row family SUV. It's just who we are and that's our DNA. And if you drive this car, I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy the back roads as much as, uh, you know, hauling things around, if you will. So, you know, Type S pricing starts at $67,000. The top trim advanced version I'm driving retails for 72 grand. A comparable Audi Q7, Mercedes GLE, or BMW X5 would be some 5,000 bucks more. I attended an Acura event in Yontville, California, that's the Napa Valley wine country for those not familiar, where we were pointed to some fun twisty roads that would be a riot in a Porsche 718 Cayman. I know because I've done just that. Here's what gives the MDX Type S promise. For starters, the normal 3.5 liter V6 is replaced with a three liter turbocharged V6. It has direct injection and a single twin scroll turbocharger. There's 355 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque for your right foot to play with. That's an additional 65 horses and 87 pound feet, all available lower in the power band. To handle the extra go, the 10-speed is beefed up, shifts are 40% quicker. No manual gearbox, these will have to do. Drive modes? Uh, you bet. In fact, there are two more of them on the Type S, Sport Plus being exclusive to this model, holding lower gears longer. Type S is the first Acura with air suspension. It also gets adaptive dampers, a first for MDX. Standard super handling all-wheel drive offers up true active torque vectoring, not a brake-based system. It can push up to 70% of the engine's torque to the rear axle and 100% of that to either the left or right tires and back. Peek through the 21-inch wheels to view upgraded brakes, four piston Brembos up front, larger discs and back. The standard MDX does the 0 to 60 dash in six and a half seconds. The Type S shaves a second off that time. It does scoot lots of power low in the power band, and you'll hear the engine and a little bit of turbo whine, which I kind of like. At 4,770 pounds, Type S is heavier by 205 LBSs. The active dampers and air suspension work together to keep body movements well under control. It can lower by 6 tenths of an inch or raise nearly 2 inches for a maximum ground clearance of nearly 9.5 inches. That's more for snowy conditions. This isn't meant to be a Jeep Grand Cherokee L kind of off-roader. Here, super handling all wheel drive must be working overtime. The cornering is really something, and you gotta remember this is a three row crossover. It's really composed. Chuck it really hard into a corner, and there's gonna be some understeer, but that's good because, you know, it couldn't save your bacon. There's honest to goodness road feel coming up through the heated leather wheel, the effort a little more beefy. 
Type S is not a hardcore track-oriented performance vehicle. This is a solid real-world setup that'll help you live the good life. In addition to loads of standard active electronic safety tech like automatic emergency braking and adaptive cruise, there's the old-fashioned notion of really good brakes just as important as acceleration when having fun. The improved binders have excellent pedal modulation, not sure how much quicker they scrub off speed, but they do stop the MDX right now. The updated transmission is still a smooth operator and the shifts are noticeably quicker. Type S is an olive branch to responsible parents that enjoy driving, though don't be setting a bad example for the kids. Despite the sport tuned suspension, the ride quality never gets flinty. The adaptive suspension can be more comfy than the standard MDX. Even your mother-in-law should enjoy the ride. It's reasonably quiet at speed. I'd actually like a little more engine growl in the cabin. Fuel economy, oh, that's not so great. The EPA rates the Type S's average at 19 miles per gallon. That's two MPG less than the standard MDX and it wants premium fuel. Yeah, people that can buy this can afford the fuel, but I'm obliged to point that out. It isn't getting any cheaper. I'm not spending tons of time on the interior because of my limited time with the Type S. I suggest checking out the other MDX video that I produced since most, if not all, of the functionality remains the same. Type S does get some special visual treatments, including a beautiful dark blue interior that other journalists hogged. I'm very happy to see Acura upping its game with high quality materials. Normally trimmed with ultra suede, the heated and vented leather seats in the upgraded Advance have an excellent massage setting. Shiatsu is recommended. The interface with true touchpad controller, I still find that a mixed bag. It takes time to master and using standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is awkward because the screen is not touch sensitive. I am a huge fan of Acura's ELS Studio 3D audio system. The Type S ups that to the signature level if you spring for the advanced model. It packs 25 speakers, 22 channels, and 1,000 watts of power. Should be adequate. The spatial soundstage is dramatic, yet never gimmicky. Tuned by Grammy-winning producer Elliot Shiner, I got to geek out with him and the designer of the system. It's important to use the right files for the best sound and staging. The ELS signature system not only sounds incredible, it gets lighted carbon fiber drivers, so it looks awesome too. So unfortunately, I can't play you the music because it's copyrighted. <laughs> it sounds great. Nice Thank job, you. man. Thank you. Again, I'll defer you to my first MDX video for the usefulness of the back seat area. It should serve the family well with plenty of storage cubbies and power ports to charge electronics. The third row is good for kids, even okay for smaller adults. Uh, roomier than Genesis GV80, that's for sure. Nope, I'm not going to Costco. I'm in the middle of the Napa Valley. I have no idea where there is one, but I can show you some things about the cargo area. There's not loads of space with all seats in use. These rigs are normally bought for those just in case moments. And the adjustable floor is reversible. You can put the kids muddy soccer cleats on the smooth side for easier cleaning. All seats up, there's 17 cubic feet. That climbs to a solid 48, dropping the back row, which is easy to do. It still seats five this way. The kids hovercraft science fair project can probably be hauled with this Acura. In max cargo configuration, you're looking at a cavernous 95 cubic feet. The design changes are subtle. Type S doesn't look like a Lamborghini Urus, good for keeping a low profile, <laughs> officer. Changes include a new front fascia with a body color grille surround. The pattern is unique and increases airflow by 14%. That turbo engine needs to breathe. More of that happening down here too. Trim and side mirrors are gloss black. The last MDX that I tested had an awkward look here. This one's better, still a little uneven at some angles. The Continental Cross Contact tires are run flats and self-sealing, so they can go farther if punctured. I guess if you can't have a spare, that's the next best thing. Let's wrap this up. It's red light, green light time. Green lights, 
MDX Type S is one of the few family haulers that will haul asphalt on twisty, turny roads. It's good fun. The suspension, a double wishbone up front, and ride quality is a no-compromise setup. Drivers will enjoy the precision. Passengers won't get their spines pounded. The Type S gets some exterior tweaks, but it remains kind of stealthy. No need to draw attention to yourself. Yellow lights. Love the upgraded ELS Studio 3D signature audio system, but only the top trim model gets it. The Type S's performance is an excellent blend of comfort and sport, but don't expect a hardcore track vehicle. I enjoy the growl from the Turbo V6. Maybe let a little more of it into the cabin, Acura, and not everyone will like the turbo whistle, however faint. Red lights. Any vehicle with fuel economy like this gets a demerit from me, especially with gas prices rising. The touchpad interface would be okay with a little practice, but adding touch to the screen would make me happy. If you need spacious seating for seven, the third row is a bit tight, like most three-row crossovers, <laughs> but this crowd won't be doing the minivan thing. And I'd say shop the competitors, but the performance and the refinement of the MDX Type S is kind of in a class of its own, especially when price is considered. No wonder Acura has sold so many of these. You know that old chestnut, having your cake and eating it too? That is the Acura MDX Type S. It can be comfortable and haul the family without any issues whatsoever. And then you find a twisty road like this and it's loads of fun. So in many ways, this is a no compromise vehicle. Too bad the Roadmaster name is taken. It certainly fits here. Hop into a Type S and you'll be living the good life. Just add a happy, healthy family, a rewarding job, and a house to park the MDX. How hard can that be? Going to these events makes me run around like a caffeinated squirrel to get enough shots, but it allows me to talk to engineers and product planners, which is always a good thing. You all know that Acura has a new Integra coming, right? And when it was announced, the internet didn't seem overly impressed. So I asked John Akeda how he felt about that. Well, I, I'm telling you, Integra, uh, it's such an emotional and you know passionate following. You have to provide a vehicle that's worthy of that name. So anything that has that much passion behind it, you can't just stick a badge on it and say, it's an Integra. There's too much uh, emotional uh, uh, love for that vehicle. So yeah. I would have to say I appreciate the passion behind the name. I really do. And uh, it's, it's been 20 years since DC2. You know, it's the cars have evolved substantially. Our brand has evolved substantially. But at the heart of it all, at anything that we do at Honda and Acura, Fun to drive is what we're after, and in everything, even the MDX Type S here, uh, fun to drive is at the base of everything that we create. So, trust me, the Integra is coming back, and that fun to drive uh, soul is in that vehicle. Well, there you go. And coming soon, I drive another Type S, the NSX, and on a track. Good work if you can get it. I should uh, practice on a video game before I did this. Hope you got something out of my look at the Acura MDX. Loads of fun to drive. I'll leave you with a fun fact. This is obviously a Japanese brand, the luxury performance division of Honda, but a lot of people don't understand that all Acuras are manufactured in North America. Yeah, this was designed in California, largely developed and engineered and manufactured in Ohio. I believe the transmission is made in Georgia. The automotive world, it's a global thing. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to this channel. I'm assuming that you enjoyed it because you're here at the very end. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, pretty active there. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments. I'm pretty good about answering stuff. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.